The Great Spiritual Battle of the Sons of God. Part 2. Prophecies and Revelations Given to Luz de Maria. The Spiritual Battle of These Times. Mary. September 20, 2018. As Mother I call you to pray with your heart and voluntarily transform yourselves into true children of my Son at this instant when a large number of your brothers and sisters are apostatizing from the faith. In the spiritual battle between good and evil, some of my children are not constant in acting and working in goodness, they are going back to being lukewarm due to a lack of devotion. Others throw themselves into the hands of the devil, who injects them with depravity, lack of faith and licentiousness. Mary. March 14, 2012. I invite you to return to the path, to stop and each one look at himself or herself, but truly look see yourselves to face this spiritual battle that is being carried out and will increase in the coming instance. It is essential that you are conscious that my son is the king and you his children. It is essential that you totally give yourselves to divine love and banish forever those mundane gods that today saturate not only the mind and thoughts but the eyes, the ear, the heart and the body of some of my children, some who are the great majority. Defenders of the children of God in this spiritual battle. Psalm chapter 90 verses 10 to 14. There shall no evil come to thee, nor shall the scourge come near thy dwelling. For he hath given his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. In their hands they shall bear thee up, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt walk upon the asp and the basilisk, and thou shalt trample underfoot the lion and the dragon. Because he hoped in me I will deliver him, I will protect him because he hath known my name. Because he hoped in me I will deliver him, I will protect him because he hath known my name. He shall cry to me, and I will hear him. I am with him in tribulation, I will deliver him, and I will glorify him. I will fill him with length of days, and I will show him my salvation. Jesus. December 30, 2012. Do not feel as though I do not see you, do not hear you, that I do not live beating within each one of you. Even if you do not want me. These are instants in which those who are mine are tested in their weaknesses so that they fall, evil knows man's weaknesses. In the midst of this blessing that is closely linking yourselves to my house, a blessing that has not been given to any other generation, the spiritual battle against my children increases strongly, since evil wishes the perdition of souls. Saint Michael the Archangel. June 20, 2019. The spiritual battle is intensifying against the people of God. I am sent to call you to amend your lives. I have been sent to call you to holiness, so that your living, work and action be completely transformed. Mary. April 22, 2015. At this instant I am not only talking about wars with weapons, but also about the spiritual battle, the personal battle, the one each of you must fight against evil and win. And at these instants I see so many of my children who, because of a setback, forget my son's love and his giving of himself on the cross, forget his call, and forget that they have a mother who loves them and will never abandon them. Mary. July 18, 2012. Beloved children, do not deny my word, it is my son's will. I will not abandon you in any instant. My son has entrusted his people to me and I will be with you in this spiritual battle against evil, I will not abandon you. 
I am men's counselor, and I will continue beside you interceding for each one of you. I do not want a single one of you to be lost by respecting free will, my heart aches seeing how many turn away from my son's path. Be perseverant and faithful, be true and love one another. Do not fear, the one who remains firm is not moved by any wind no matter how strong that wind may be. The one who is lukewarm is the one who fears, but I love even the one who is lukewarm and I call him to take advantage of these instants of conversion and not to be Satan's prey. Mary. The 2nd of November 2011. My angelic legions are already in spiritual battle against evil, a battle that man does not see with the eyes of the body, and by not having a sight, a sensibility, an opening and spiritual fusion with the sacrosanct trinity guided only by the Holy Spirit, he is not able to perceive what is happening in what is spiritual. This is only the beginning. The triumph over this battle is definitive, God already expires. John chapter 16 verse 33. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you shall have distress, but have confidence, I have overcome the world. Luke chapter 10 verses 18 to 20. And he said to them, I saw Satan like lightning falling from heaven. Behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and upon all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. But yet rejoice not in this, that spirits are subject unto you, but rejoice in this, that your names are written in heaven. Confidences of the Holy Archangels St. Michael, St. Gabriel and St. Raphael. January 15, 2014. And you who continue to walk in faith, at the end of this spiritual battle that remains active, you who do not see it or perceive it, at the end you will see, with joy in your soul, that every effort bore its fruit and you will gather the greatest harvest that is yearned for by any human being who loves our King. Our King will triumph, and you, faithful people, will triumph with Him. Mary. The 1st of February 2018. Evil will not triumph, it has an instant in which it attacks the people of my son through fashion, women and their clothing are cause of shame for this mother. My son's people undergo persecution, suffering, threats, acts of impiety as a cause of the early sacrifice of my own. When evil believes that it is dominating the earth, I will come to my son's people and will snatch them from the evil one and deliver them to my son. I will deliver his people to him dressed in white and will silence the devil in the name that is above all names. Mary. May 16, 2018. Pain will pass, persecutions will cease. The Most Holy Trinity will not pass, divine love will not pass. The kingdom of God will not pass, my son will come to gather the mature harvest and will present it to his father, and creation will be returned to its creator. Do not fear, my children, do not fear, my children have been strengthened in the cross of glory. Do not fear, as in the end my immaculate heart will triumph. You are my son's people, and my son is your Lord and your God.